11 year old Ryan Lake is getting his head shaved. He isn't making a fashion statement, rather, he is doing it for charity. Today, people have shown their support for Ryan by donating $7,000 to the Children's Cancer Foundation for its Hair for Hope cause. Ryan's decision to shave it all off stems from the experience of having both grandfathers diagnosed with cancer. Daniel Ditmer, the owner of Focus Pilates, where Ryan lost his locks, tells Razor TV why he chose this means of charity donation. I think children's cancer in particular um, needs a little bit more support because uh, for kids to deal with uh, having cancer and families to deal with having cancer, I think it, uh, it's a little bit more challenging. Challenging for everyone, but uh, in particular for kids. How do you go about convincing your friends to shaving their head for charity? Um, through hard work. Uh, some of them took a little bit of persuading, but some just uh, put their hand up straight away. There are other ways of uh, raising money. So why do you specifically choose to shave your head, you know? Um, well, I guess it's, it's also a symbolic act, uh, at least for children's cancer, uh, to show support. So would you mind sharing with us how much money have Focus Pilates managed to raise thus far? So far, over $20,000. A total of 11 heads is going under the shaver, 10 males and 1 female. Priscilla is the only woman today, and we found out how she feels about getting her head shaved. Great feeling. <laughs> so, uh, what message do you hope to send uh, with getting our head shaved? Come on, all women, come and support me as well. And be like me, <laughs> support the Cancer Society, and uh, just to let them, uh, let the public uh, know that all the children who are suffering from cancer, right, they're not alone. We are also join, uh, we are also joining them and supporting them as well. Aston is another volunteer who feels that more awareness needs to be raised for children's cancer. I actually have a friend. Um, his younger, his youngest brother actually has leukemia right now, and he's undergoing treatment and. Um, I've seen how it can devastate a family, so um, yeah, that's why I'm here. So how much money do you manage to raise? Well, so far, um, not a lot. Less than a thousand, but over 500 so far. I'm hoping to raise more. Now as you're getting your hair shaved, uh, how do you feel? I don't know. I'm not sure if I can cope with the shock. <laughs> but these guys, they survived. So John, tell me, how does it feel? Cool. Very cooling. I can actually feel the air con on my, blowing on my head. Does it feel strange? Uh, uh, not really, a little bit lighter, but yeah, it's alright. What do you think of his new look? Um, I think it's actually quite nice, so he should keep it actually. <laughs> so, how does it feel having your head shaved now? Uh, it, I feel lighter. <laughs> do you feel strange? No, no, not at all. Yeah, I've done it, I've done it before, so. But not for charity, so. But it, it's a good thing. If you feel inspired after watching these volunteers lose their hair for charity, sign up online for the next Hair for Hope charity shave on the 25th of July.